What is up guys? It is Mercifies here. We got another tutorial today. Uh, today's lesson is going to be about if else statements in Java, uh, how to use them, what they're good for, etc, uh, etc. Et so let's get started. So I'm going to start out by creating a new class in my current project. Call it if else. And start it up. Now, if else statements uh, can be used to evaluate data and compare it and contrast it and uh, allows you to have different options and different, uh, different paths that your code can take. So, for example, let's start it up and we're going we're gonna to create this program asking somebody about their height and their weight and then it's going to compare that data to the preset data that we're going to give it and see if that the user input is uh, is equal to or less than or whatever the data so we're going to start off by importing the scanner class which we learned in a previous tutorial import java.util dot star semicolon I know it's not a star it's an asterisk but asterisk asterisk I can't say the word so that's why I just say star um, then we're going to create our static scanner outside of our main method static scanner key equals uh, new scanner system dot in and then semicolon at the end now that we have that we're going to do a system out print line and it's going to ask the person for uh, for their height. Now we want to get this number as an integer, so we're going to create a new integer, int a equals key dot next int parentheses and a semicolon. Then uh, we'll throw in another system out print lines just to space it out and then what is how much do you weigh how much do you weigh and then we're going to have a uh, another integer nobody needs to use decimals when weighing themselves uh, another integer int b equals key dot next in Okay, so to compare this data to something that we want to preset it to, we're going to use the if else statement. And to do that, we're going to start off by creating the if statement. So to do that, it's just if space parentheses space uh, open bracket and then hit enter and it should create a closing bracket for you. Now inside the parentheses, we need to have our parameters of, of what we're going to be comparing. So we want to compare integer a which is our height to uh, to another number and see if it's less than that number so we're going to make it a is let's see less than 72 inches so if this person is less than six foot tall it will uh, print out something okay you have an average height of, and then we're going to spit it back out at them, A. Um, and then this if statement can be followed up by an else if or just an else statement. Now, the difference between an else if statement and an else statement is else if is the same thing as an if, it's just an if that. An if statement that if this statement isn't true, it'll go to the next best thing, the next else if statement. If we follow this up with an if, and this is true, it'll skip this else if and go to this if statement. An else statement is the last thing. It doesn't require parameters, and you can just have an open bracket and a closing bracket and your code. Now, an else statement can also, it doesn't even have to have an open and closing bracket as long as you have 
whatever you're 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 gonna output or you're gonna you know change it if it's on the next line it's okay with the else statement um, uh oh you're really tall that's acceptable as long as it's in the next line after the else statement um, if you wanted to have multiple lines you would just have to include the opening and closing like here but we're gonna have this else if um, compare let's see we're going to compare this a to see if it is between a is greater than If A is greater than or equal to 72 and A is less than or equal to 80, it's going to print out you are pretty tall. Now, less than or equal to and and uh sorry greater than or equal to and less than or equal to are acceptable um if you're trying to do equals if you're trying to compare it so a is equal to 72 you have to have a double equal sign you can't just have a single equal sign because it's comparing the values in a different way it compares the values and comparing values you need two equal signs whereas setting a value is only one equal sign so this, this uh, double and symbol also make sure that A is, uh, ooh, I changed that up, A is greater than and it must be true here and it must be true here. So these two statements must both be true for this else if statement to be true. So if A is greater than or equal to 72 and it is less than or equal to 80, it will print out you are pretty tall. If, for some reason, we print out, uh, if uh, you're over 80 inches, then you will be printing out, you are really tall. Alright, enough of that. Let's get on to the weight. Now, up here I used, I'm just going to copy this. We'll print it out here, and then we'll change it up. Up here... On the first one, I used the double AND to create an AND uh, possibility, an AND logic. I don't want to say logic, an AND comparison. You can have either an AND or an OR statement. An AND will have to make sure that both or any of the requirements, the parameters, are true, then it will print it out. An OR only has to have one of them be true. So for this one, if you're less than 150, you have an average weight. If you are equal to 72 or uh, B is equal to 800 we'll just throw in two random numbers there let's go let's go 720 or 800 you are very fat now the or is represented by two vertical absolute value lines absolute value yeah lines um, if you have a keyboard and you don't know where that is, that's also the backslash, I believe. I think that's a backslash, not the forward slash. Um, but yeah, check your keyboard. You should see it. It's represented by two of these absolute value lines. And then this last one, uh-oh, you are pretty fat. You are. Okay. So let's compile this and run it and see what happens. 
So the first thing that comes up, we have the prompt, what is your height? Uh, for the first one, I'm going to go with, we're going to go with 72 right on the dot. How much do I weigh? I weigh 720 pounds. It prints out, you are pretty tall and you are very fat. Uh, if we change it up to, what is your height? 80. And how much do I weigh? I weigh 150. You are pretty tall. You are pretty fat. There you can see that it can come out with multiple uh, print line statements depending on how the parameters are matched. If it's true, if it's not, if it's equal to the value, if it's less than, etc. If else statements will become very handy in the future and you'll use them a lot so you must get this down it's a pretty simple concept uh, I hope you guys like the video if you don't understand anything leave a comment let me know subscribe favorite like see you guys